Coming to the pages. Yeah, coming to the pages. It's no different than other methods of acceptance in an age of mental power outages. Which means what to anyone who is present beyond myself? We all have these areas in our life that we retreat to or walk into where we need to be refreshed or replenished. Now for me, it's coming to these pages. In this book, there's no judgment and I can be as transparent as I choose to be. Hardly, if ever, do I ever meet anyone who is so willing to talk about their personal space or refresh and replenish. Speakers and preachers talk about their energized plans and purposes, but where on the map is the connection made? Knowing would help others on their personal paths to gain in confidence by way of using the methods and tools that have opened the path to be more refreshed and replenished. Just take great notes coming to the page got to get to the page and I don't know if that's an addiction or if that's just my way of saying there's something on this page that allows me to speak out or or here's the strange part maybe it's speaking in to me hey it's arrow this is the daily mess a chronological walk through an everyday world I am a daily writer there is so much going on in this everyday world and place and yet we don't see it It just marches right by us and we're going, it was what? You heard what? You saw what? You what? But if you open your eyes and your mind's eye, there's a lot to be received. This is The Daily Mess. What is it about Hollywood that keeps the writers, directors, actors, and investors locked in retelling the same old story? Why is the Star Wars saga still hanging out with us? We also seem to be oversaturated with superhero syndrome and not making the big bucks isn't scaring any of them away. Do we really need to have this many Mission Impossibles and Pirates of the Caribbean? Sort of makes you wonder what movie life would be like if the AIs were given permission to kind of give us new air to breathe. Would the computer generated storylines be connected to the same characters that have been going on for 30 years? Yet if you really dig into the street speak conversations, most people are talking about what they're binge watching and not what they're going to the movie theater to see. They don't want to see just two hours of a storyline. We're addicted to six to 12 episodes per season with big name actors. What is going on? And it's not just Hollywood. It's everything that we do. Walk into a Lowe's store, walk into a grocery store. No matter where you go, everything seems to keep doing the same thing. We have found comfort and security in no change at all. And is that a great place to be? Because when change does occur, what enforced that change? And when we do need change, too many people are saying, nah, we're we're okay. We're okay. We've got comfort and security. So this is not a finger at Hollywood. What this is, this is the idea of embracing the need for change. We are the same people. Now, the experiences around us, from weather conditions to political worlds to the financial situations, we're in a place of change, but we aren't changing with the change. We see everything going wrong around us. We complain as loud as we can. But we're not shape shifting in the way of embracing that change. Go ahead, take the notes, write down in a journal, put it on a posted note, leave yourself a dear future reader opportunity to come back and say, holy crap, everything around us moved except us. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.